YouTube Galaxy here, with more No Man's Sky. Now since the first one of these videos actually turned out pretty well at, in terms of views, and I suppose people did seem to like it, uh, but we're, we're going to be continuing with the seed showcases here. I have six new ships, or should I say six new ships, um, six new seeds for ships even, get it right here. Uh, if you, if you, anyone, anyone here doesn't know what I'm on about, uh, to put it very simply, using the No Man's Sky editor, you can play around with your ship's seed, which is purely a cosmetic thing. I'd have you know, if you want to just change the seed and therefore change the look of your ship, it's pretty easy to do. And I can't really call it cheating because all you're doing is changing something cosmetically speaking. Although it can save you a lot of time, effort, and money, especially money, uh, to actually go find yourself a nice-looking ship that you want to use. Uh, so let's make this quicker before the night, the, uh, actually the sun turns around and it becomes night, although what I find interesting is I think my very small capital ship, which I didn't even know you could summon it in, uh, literally just just up there, um, I thought you actually had to summon the uh, ship in from space, but you could summon in your capital ship from the ground, but anyway, that thing is actually, a it's actually one of the smaller ships, that's not the ship I'm actually going to showcase, it's just my ship that I happen to be using to uh, travel around the place. Uh, and yes, I have also changed location. We are now on an airless planet. It's a bit dusty, uh, so you have to apologize for the dust here. I'll try and rotate the different planets uh, that I showcase these ships on. Uh, just one last thing is, um, in terms of the seeds, all the seeds for these ships will be in the description. Now, if you are new to the uh, to my videos on this, to put it very simply, uh, how I'm laying out the seeds, my, the seeds in the description, what? Go away, milestone. Um, the, the seeds uh, in the description will be listed ship one to six, right? Now, the order that they, they, they are listed in in the description is the order that I am showcasing them in this video. So it's kind of simple, just just so just so people uh, get their uh, head around it, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, let's start from left to right. Now, I haven't showcased any haulers as of yet, uh, but this particular one is one of the just I would say the the heavy haulers. If you want to think about it. Uh, so it's actually got the uh, the big square cargo containers, and uh, it's also a very large ship as well. It is also uh, sort of a creamy white and yellow in colour. Some people will certainly... I mean, I certainly used to uh, use hauler class ships, and uh, this one's kind of the de like the very definition of a hauler. It's just a massive cargo ship. It's actually the biggest one uh, in this uh, particular um, collection here, but hey, I like the look of it. And if you like the colours of it, uh, then, you know, that's good for you. You'll have to excuse the Gravitino balls, which are going to keep making noise as I fly by them. But uh, but that is the first ship on this on this uh, particular list. It's uh, simple, uh, very large, and it's a haul-up. So if you like that ship, then, well, that will be in the description, like all of these uh, will be. So moving on, uh, we have another micro-shuttle. Now, this is not quite as small as the la as my uh, in the first showcase the other micro shuttle that i showed but this one is actually very very similar in size it seems to be a white with a very pale uh, sort of purpley blue color very subtle very subtle it's not in your face color so you've got this little uh, wing at the top here with a couple tiny little micro thrusters which actually look pretty cute uh, to say the least um, and it actually has more of a wing as well with uh, you know po a possible air intake here so i kind of i kind of like the actual look of this uh, ship as well so a little run like runabout ship just to go around uh, around the uh, the galaxy I suppose or maybe you want a, a very small shuttle to use for inner t inner sort of inner system uh, runs you know what I mean so just you can uh, so then you can just throw all your upgrades into say the pulse drive and for efficiency and launch thrusters uh, and use that just to get around a system like you have a home system like this system here actually has a lot of planets if you couldn't tell um, like even one with a nice sort of ring system there which looks pretty good uh, so you know there's that uh, so if you want like another runabout ship, then uh, there you go. And of course, all of these are in the description, which uh, I'm going to stop mentioning that now. But um, in the last in the last uh, showcase, actually, I did show off another fighter, another one of these like slim fighters, as I'm just nicknaming it. This one is, I think, the identical color scheme of white and sort of a pale yellow. Uh, but the only major difference in this uh, particular ship is it does have uh, those two side engines there. I wish there was a way to actually hover with your jetpack, but there isn't. So it has two side engines rather than uh, having five wings, um, which actually had two more coming out the sides on the last, uh, the last particular seed. But the side engines are nice if you want to have a bit more of a traditional fighter, I suppose, with some booster engines. If you want to think about it that way, then uh, there you go. That's simple, effective, and very sleek. I, I do like how these ones look. Um, so that is uh, that one. Now this one's a little bit stubby, but I've called this the tiny, tiny cargo shuttle. 
And I'm not. A, I actually. I think the colours actually were slightly off. Um, I don't think the C quite generated correctly, but uh, I don't know. It, it it works otherwise. There's the actual aesthetic is fine. There's actually a texture glitch that you can see there. That's uh, interesting. Um, but one thing I do like about the shuttle class, as far as ships are concerned, is they do have a lot of varying designs. Oh, that is some. That is some lovely glitching. I don't know if that's the actual seed messing up, or that's just a bug in the game. I, I actually don't know. Uh, but I do love the cargo ships, in uh, the shuttle ships even in general, because they, they come in so many different designs. They're always good to look at, and this one actually just has these little cargo pods, which I actually do like the look of as well. I might try and find a bigger version of this ship, though, uh, with cargo pods, but I thought it was a tiny cargo shuttle. It's a bit stubby looking. It's a bit too tall for my liking, but... Uh, but hey, little ship, same sort of purpose if you want to have an inner uh, inner system sort of shuttle with a uh, little bit of, you know, trying to role play here, you've got little cargo pods and uh, I mean, hey, if you like the small ships then there you go. Now this one is my favourite, um, yeah, I've called this the Golden Sphere, I actually had one of these legitimately in a survival, although it had only the single engine at the back, and I found a seed here with twin engines, and this thing looks amazing. I had, as far as like the exotic ships are concerned, I'm, I really like the, the spherical ones. Um, I'm not a fan of the, is it called the octopus, the one that has like all those like arms at the front? I'm not as much of a fan of those. Um, and even though the really big ones, like the ones that have like these big gigantic folding wings that like unfurl and you, you basically become a, fly, a flying exclamation mark almost. Um, but this particular um, design I much prefer because it's much more compact. And as you can kind of see, even though the, my flying skills with the jetpack have uh, certainly need to improve, but it's white and gold with a black with a black inner sphere. This thing, I mean, it looks very much like the uh, a primed Warframe because hey, I'm obsessed with Warframe, and the color scheme just really just suits it. So if you want like a royal looking, expensive looking sphere, then uh, there you go. And this this might I might actually use this ship in my next survival. As long as I can find an S class legitimately, I will change the seed of it to this one because my god, this thing looks amazing. Definitely my favorite seed I have found so far. So the final ship in this collection, which is a good thing too, because uh, I'm not even sure how long, how much further further that sun has yet to. Uh, go in its orbit, and I have a small long shuttle, which is, uh, the, it's just ignore the names, the names are just, uh, the names are just placeholders, so I actually know which seed is what, but, uh, this is a longer shuttle, which you can kind of get what I mean by the, the shuttle class, um, in No Man's Sky, it has a lot of variations in design, so this is very elongated, if you couldn't tell, uh, and we have two wings at the front, uh, which looks quite nice, with some, like, stabilizer fins, I suppose, not as much of a fan if you see on the left side there, there's like a little bit of asymmetry going on there with the uh, this like cylindrical piece, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but having like this thicker back section, I don't know, Looks it looks interesting, it's something different to look at anyway as far as shuttles are concerned, and uh, if you're not a fan of shuttles being really really small, then this is a slight step up in terms of size, um, and it's a white and blue colour scheme, so you know, pretty you know, pretty unoffensive to the eyes because believe me, some uh, some ship seeds that you see around there on the No Man's uh, Sky Seed website, which also that's in the description as well with the other ship seeds, but that site, you get to see pretty much every kind of uh, ship and you get to see every kind of seed and sometimes the colour scheme is just so awful, like, don't get me wrong, I if, if there's a, a really high class ship, like an A class or an S class or something, and it happens to be just a bad colour. Well, before I started using the editor, I would have probably still kept the actual ship itself, even though the colours were off because of the, you know, it's probably what the ship can do. is It's worth putting up with a bit of uh, cancer on the eyes, as it were. And I think actually my very first S-Class was bright yellow, just completely yellow all around, which I used it for a while, but ever since I had the, I have, I've been using the editor, I just pretty much got the exact same version of that ship but in a different colour scheme, which um, it looks way better. But, you know, that's a story for another day. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this ship showcase. That's pretty much all six ships for uh, this week. I'm not sure how regularly I'm going to keep doing these uh, showcases, but I guess as long as I can as long as long I can keep browsing the Seeds website and if I, find, if I can make sure I can find myself six uh, ships that I happen to like and I haven't showcased anything particularly too similar before, um, then I'll make a video on them, I suppose. But... 
But yeah, as far as this video goes, that is pretty much it. So yeah, let me know what you think of these uh, particular ships down below in the comments. Uh, links to the No Man's Sky Seed website if you want to browse the actual website for, um, for seeds um, for your own personal use and whatnot. Uh, then that's in the description. Um, also, that No Man's Seeds website just saying it's not limited just to ships. There's even like multi tool seeds, which I don't actually have a multi tool seed at the moment. This is the default one. So you can even change that. You can even change your uh, capital ships uh, seed as well. So you can get some crazy, crazy ships. I mean, that one is actually one of the smaller ones that I found. Uh, I might actually change that in between videos. See if you guys actually notice that. And even, um, even sh you get there's like a seeds catalog as well for uh, NPCs. Not even sure how you can change uh, the seed of an NPC specifically, but apparently they're also collecting seeds for those as well. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> they are still collecting seeds uh, even to this day, and the actual collect they've got over two thousand uh, ship seeds specifically, and increasing pretty rapidly. So the collection is certainly growing, and uh, probably over time, that I'll, I'll probably have more ships to showcase to you guys in the future. Anyway, rambling aside, like I said, links to all these ships that I've showcased as well are in the description as well. Please let me know if I've got the orders of the uh, ships seeds mixed up. I'll try not to. I'll try to get them all in the right order. But if I've met, if I messed up somewhere, then uh, let me know because I need to correct that. Uh, and uh, yeah, link to my Discord if you want to say hi to me is also in the description, um, which is pretty standard in this day and age. And well, you all know the drill by now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.